She's got some nice long hair and you know that she's a bad chick All the boys stare, can't help it, it's a habit Clothes that she wears, short skirt and a jacket I just wanna get her all alone on a mattress I just wanna have it, I just gotta have it Rumors all around say her body is fantastic All natural, not a piece of fur is plastic Head to her toes, yeah they say that she's a lash Yeah the whispers all around say she has a reputation Don't believe it till I see it, so I want a demonstration And I've always learned it better with a hands-on education So I need a private session if you get what I am saying And they say that she's not easy, no she's really complicated But that only makes it better and it's got me so What's up YouTube? It's Leg here if you haven't already seen the other videos um, Today we're off on a little lads manor explore and uh, we parked at West Stoke. I'm taking Callie out and we're going for a walk up Kingley Vale. So um, check this space. It's quite busy up here today. I used to come down here a lot with Big. Hold my keys, stop them jingling. I used to come down here a heck of a lot with Biggie and um, we always do sunset walks. We've got a nice little robin in the bush there. Hello, Mr. Robin. You see him up there. He just sat there checking us out. So um, I thought we'd come up for a nice sunset walk tonight. We'll get get up to the top of the hill and catch a lovely sunset because it was such a nice sunset last night. Cows, I'm with this little puppy. And um, yeah, we're going for a little explore. But as I say, we were planning on getting a sunset tonight. But as you can see in the background up there, it's got quite cloudy all of a sudden since we got up here. So um, whether or not we're going to get a nice sunset tonight, that's that's another matter but one thing's for sure we'll catch loads of wildlife um we're bound to see some deers at this sort of time of night up here so uh stay tuned and we'll get some good stuff on the channel coming check you in a bit guys so guys i'll give you a good pan round you can see we've got woodland all over there we've got woodland all over this side it's very busy up here today we got two little beasts up here off the lead. Hopefully they'll pull their dogs back. Callie doesn't jump on them, but we'll see. Stay in hill. Good girl, here. Yeah. Right, I've got to keep cutting the camera off because there's people coming on and kids. So guys, I'm back again. We've got a bit of a gap. It doesn't look like there's anyone coming at the moment. So just walking along. I can see we've got all these new planted trees in here. Which is nice, because of um, there used to be a big old fence along here, big, a bit like this side, big fence. So, it uh, looks like they're planting new trees, which in a couple of years time, these should be up lovely and nice. It looks like, to me, it looks like hawthorn in there growing. Um, if you didn't know already, I used to be a gardener, so I'm quite good at my trees. Uh, there's lots of different trees and wildlife on the channel. We've also got a load of experience days coming, adrenaline and adventure, adventure days. I think the next um, experience day I'm going to be doing is flyboarding. And I've also got some canyoning coming. Where I'm jumping off some cliffs and stuff, so that should be good fun. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Go check our other videos out. We've got lots of other videos. Uh, last video I posted was with my little girl. And... We go out on night hikes, hence tonight sun's going to be going down. We're going to be up here late tonight. Um, we'll walk back up here in the dark and you'll see that we, we've got... Um, I like to work Cali at night, so uh, but you'll catch that on the channel anyway. As I say, uh, the last video we managed to come across five little fox cubs. Um, go have a look, subscribe to the channel. And you'll see them on there because we got the footage we got it on there and they were no bigger than the size of your hand these little fox cubs are only tiny so as i say today we were at kingly vale i uh, thought we'd get a nice a nice little sunset but it looks like it's getting quite cloudy so i used to come up here as a little boy i've been up here with quite a few of my mates over the years um on picnics and stuff it's that time of the month where you've got all the what time of the month it's that time of the year should i say where you've got all the bluebells out you can see 
starting to come out through the trees. You should see a lot of them tonight. Uh, I can't believe how busy it is up here. Normally it's quite quiet. Whereas um, so far tonight, I've seen no end of people. That's why I keep cutting the camera in, cutting the camera out. So I'm trying not to get any children on here. So, but as you can see, nice out in the countryside, nice little explore. That's a dog good. She's currently her age, seven and a half months old. She is. Um, she's pretty well behaved. It's starting to drill in now. The training's really starting to stick now. Cows, good girl. Um, obviously every dog has its moments, but um, Callie's starting to get a lot better behaved now. She was just very full on. Uh, still very good, not nasty, but um, definitely a handful. Aren't you cows? Uh, she's really toning down now which is ideal but um, we're getting out a lot more because of course we were stuck in in lockdown so there's only so much we could do uh, don't know whether you can see behind me you've got the, the nice trees and the bluebells i'm going to get off on the trails in a minute and that should be fun so. come on cows get a move on good girl come on hiya yeah, Check this out guys, I just spotted this through the trees. We'll come through here. I said we'd get off the trail. It didn't take long, did it? Look at this. So in this tree, you've got a load of logs where someone's tried building a little tree house. And um, not actually in the bale yet, but they're called the bale. And check this out, there's like a little built up hut. Callie's eating. Come on cows, get a move on. We've got a little hut in here. I'll make my way around, I'll show you, there's a few, there's another one over here as well. Um, I am going to get up the woods with my daughter and I'll show you how to make some of these, because some of these are quite cool, I don't know if you can see inside there, look. It's like a little log house where someone's come up here and built that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So, that's your first little house. There's another one over here, we'll get up here, we'll come. Good girl, here you are. Quickly. Good girl. Well done. Sorry guys, camera work's a bit shocking, isn't it, today? And you've got another little hut up here. This one's looking a bit more, a bit better built, this one. Come on, get move on. You caught your bum. Caught a bum in the lead. Check this one out, look. This one's built a bit better. But as I say, hit that subscribe button. And I will be doing a video showing you how to build some of these. And we've got some camping coming to the channel in the woods. We're going to be out at night camping in the woods. Let's go back this way because we've got a fence. We can't get through that way. So we're going to cut through here. If you haven't watched the other videos, um, I do say in my first video when we found the bunkers, we uh, it's a arched over piece of hawthorn here. Right over, like a little archway. Come on, get move on. As I say, uh, on my first video with the bunkers, well, it's not my first video, but on one of my first videos of going out with Cali, um, we come across some underground bunkers and a crime scene in the woods. If you go check that video out, I am saying in there about walking under dead trees because of um, there's a lot of dead trees. Everything's all pretty well maintained up here. Because of course it's Kingley Vale, they like to keep it all up together. Um, but where I went before, it's a lot quieter, so you get a lot more dead trees. And there's a big logging yard and stuff. Um, you have to be very careful overhead walking under dead trees, because any slight gust of wind or anything, it can really... You get hit by a branch out in the middle of nowhere, you've had it. So. I'm going to try not to babble on too much, guys. I'm just going to walk along and film some of this scenery. Cows, come on, get a move on. See, she's not been up here before, so she's a lot more interested in all the scents and the smells. Found a lot of dogs up here today. I've never seen it so busy up here. Um, so, guys, I'm just going to pan round. I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to give you a look at some of the scenery. This is the pathway. As I say, we parked at West Stoke Car Park. If you've not been up here before, 
um, I definitely recommend coming it. Lovely walks up here. Uh, you do need to keep your dog on the lead when you get up past the fence because they don't like your dogs if they're going to chase after deers and things. Um, you got to have a bit of respect for the wild animals. It is their home up here. Cows, good girl, come here. Well done. So, uh, quick pan in the scenery. I can't see any deers yet. I'm going to cut the camera off. We're going to, no, I'm not going to cut the camera off because we're just coming up actually to the actual beginning of what I would class as the Vale or Kingly Vale. So I'll leave you with us. But again, we've got lots of trees, got some extreme hills coming. And um, if you haven't been up here, there's two big humps at the end of the hill. On top of the hill. Sort your legs out. Good girl. Two massive great humps. They're called the Devil's Humps. Um, I know when I come up here with my sister when I was a kid, she said to me when I was a kid, if you run round it six times and then turn and run round the humps the other way six times, uh, you'll be cursed or something like that. But my sister used to tell me lots of rubbish as a kid to try and scare me. At one point, she even told me, um, you're not supposed to swallow chewing gum. And I thought, ah, of course you are. If you've got to chew it, you're supposed to eat it. So I swallowed it. And then she told me it's going to shrivel my gut and I was going to die because if I swallowed it. And I remember running into the kitchen, crying to my mum, thinking I was going to die. And my mum turned around and told me that I'm not supposed to eat chewing gum as well. And uh, I was crying for about 10 minutes as a little boy. Now, I'll get this on on show rather than walk past so as you can see please pre please help to protect the wildlife of kingly vale and keep your dog on the lead which is exactly what i was saying earlier you need to have some respect for the wild animals this is the wild animals home don't come up here with your dog and let it off don't be an idiot be a responsible dog owner be vigilant and uh, no camping no barbecues and no fires um that's fair enough livestock grazing area you can see that always proceed with caution and keep all dogs and lead under control so just have a bit of respect for other animals here you come good girl come on take and take you to i think the hut will be closed now because we're a bit late i mean i've been in the hut before and you've just got lots of information on all the different types of wildlife up here check this out can you see this it's like a an old log an old tree what's been carved out it's pretty cool isn't it so, but there's lots of stuff up here as i say it is a nature reserve it is all protected up here and this side that's quite a cool looking uh, carving up near where i live in the park they've got lots of wood carvings i will take you up there and show you some of the wood carved logs in the eastbourne park it's been done very well and um, again in the background behind me you've got the kids have started building their little branch huts and branch sheds, branch houses we'll call them. Um, a nice bit of information on the nature reserve again. Walk through Kingley Vale, takes you back in time. That's because we've got very, very old yew trees up here and um, it was said that witches used to come up here and do a lot of worshipping. This is the hut probably locked because of the time I do believe they lock the door yeah it's locked but as you can see if you can see through the windows it's just all information on what used to happen up here um, in the stone age because it's a very very old ancient place Kingly Vale I'm gonna keep plodding on and we'll get on and we'll get through the yew trees uh, we've got a heck of a mission up the hill to get through yet so, little money, old stone money box here. And if you want to leave a donation, the people who keep everything up together. I've been up here in a little while, as I say. Um, Biggie obviously died what nine months ago, um, and he wasn't very well for a good couple of months. Well, I say a good couple of months. He wasn't very well for a couple of weeks actually. I did take him up the vets, they checked him out and they said nothing was wrong with him. Two weeks later, he had to be put down, so he just went downhill so quick. And I don't know 
if you've had mastiffs before but that is the problem with the breed they don't live very long biggie died at seven years and one month which is very young for the breed we've got a got like a crater here with a little right up here what's this say i'm walking past everything just chatting kingly vale ash dieback notice obviously you've got the ash trees up here and um there is no cure for ash dieback it's uh infectious on the trees and it's killed a lot of the ash trees off um so again you have to be quite vigilant if you're walking under dead branches but they're not going to drop on you but a lot of it's maintained a lot more up here so it's not too much of a problem i'm going to take you off down this trail now because we've got a trail over here and it goes down to a lot of the yew trees some of you might have been up kingly vale if you have been up here before tell us in the comments what you thought about it tell us if you stay on trail or if you go exploring this is our first yew tree check this one out can you see how they all spiral and bend this is a yew um, i do know that the witches used to tie certain ribbons in the tree so we're going to come to this one here because i can see this one's got the ribbons on that one i couldn't see any but don't they look cool how they're all spindly i have got some yew trees in my first bunker video if you want to go check that out but this is like the home of the yew trees. This is known for yew trees. And again, we've got, look at this one. And the second yew tree on, on our route. And how they all spiral down and bend down. And again, you see the ribbons? Now, the ribbons have got something to do with witches in Kingly Vale. Because they are very, very sacred old trees, these trees. And one thing I do know about yew trees is they like to hollow themselves out. Now over here, They've actually put a little fence here and closed off the path, but you can see there's more ewes over there. Now the reason why I reckon that's closed off is if you look and you see we've got collapsed trees and again we've got a dead ash tree with the branches all dead. So they obviously don't want people walking over there because it's not been maintained. But there's a couple of ewes over there. We're going to leave them for today. We can always come back another day. Um, I might actually bring Crystal Marie up here sometime anyway and do another video with her because she'll probably kick off if I come up here and left her out. I'm sure some of you got daughters. You know what they get like if they think they're missing out on something. So that's our second yew tree we've gone past and now we've got a few more coming up here. Check these out. Another big one. Look at how this one bends right over. Um, I will have a look when I get back and I'll put some more information on this video about the yew trees and the witches what used to come up here and worship these trees and what the ribbons mean in the trees. Can you see this one, how it's all hollowed out? You know, I was saying they hollow themselves out yew trees over the years. So it's quite hard to tell because normally, you can see this, with um, the age of trees, they can tell from the, the circles in the grain inside on how old they are, on how many circles they have through it I believe it's something like that I'm not a tree expert but I do love my trees now that one started following out so that's quite cool let's get a move on let's not stand under that cows come on she's on some sort of scent again this dog loves trekking the scent we've got another ribbon here so lots of ribbons in the trees if you come up here Check them out, see how many ribbons you can find in the trees, but I wouldn't touch them. You don't want to get cursed. And again, I will be adding another video in, um, which is the, uh, what I call, me and my daughter call, the uh, witch's hollow tree. And that's a big hollowed out oak tree. We went and explored that. Our last video, when we went to Benbo Pond, you'll see it in the distance and we didn't have time to get there. But we have filmed another video last Sunday actually and um, I haven't posted it yet and that's got the actual hollow oak tree in it and it's really cool massive massive great tree so again we've got another yew here that you can see it Kingly Vale is known for its big yew trees um, we're not going to go off trail today and another yew here are you here no you're there Nice big oak tree there. Come on cows, move on. I 
taught Callie to jump up the other day. Up! Good girl, well done. Like a spring chicken. Spring chicken, is that what they say? Check this out. Check out the roots on this big, big tree come down. Look, huge tree come down. I don't remember. That's not been down long. That wasn't like this before when we come up here. We've got another path going off. Shall we go off through this path? Let's check this path out again. More yew trees, more hidden over here. But you can see there's another big old tree down here. So you do have to be very, very careful when you come off the path and you come through this way. What are you stepping on? And again, if you live in a country with lots of snakes, never step over the log, always step on the log. Because the snakes can be under the log. If you step over, they can bite the back of your heels. So um, you have to be very aware of what country you're in, where you're walking, and what animals are there. But if you do get bitten by a snake, you want to know what kind of snakes bit you, ideally. So you need to pay a lot of attention. Again, we've got another yew tree here. Just quite off trail now. Quite a few of them. Lots and lots of them. Now we can either go off in that direction, we're using that direction, or we can go back off in this direction. I think we're better off going this way, because of the way we want to go is off over this way. So, come on cows, get move on. Oh, you're hooked. You're hooked, that's why you've got to pay attention, look. All right, got caught on a branch. Silly old dog. Again, look at these you see. It's more private this bit because we're off trail. Lovely big old trees, the sun coming down. We've got loads of time yet. I think we've got about an hour and a half yet till the sun comes down. There's a big old trek up a big hill. It's a huge steep hill. So we'll deal with that when we get there. You've not got caught again, have you? For goodness sake. Not the brightest of dogs, these, this breed, you know. Quite quite dim. Lovely to be around, though. Lovely characters. Big teddy bears, really. Um, however, they do like to guard you and protect you at night if they have to. And we're going off trail now. Really off trail, guys. A bit overgrown here. Again, I don't know whether you can see all the branches down. This is what I like. I like exploring like this. Lots of fawns, but as I say, bull mastiffs quite good at stuff like this. They just plow through stuff, so they're not squeamish. Which you don't want a dainty little doggy. What doesn't want to get its paws dirty? At least we can go off trail and do the sort of stuff what I like. Again, you can see uh, they fence this area off. There's lots more yew trees, little built-up areas. There's some more trees over there in the distance. You can see what are hollowing out. Lots all up here. Trousers are falling down. I'm just going to pull it up. Pull them up. As I say, guys, if, you, if you're enjoying it so far, leave a thumbs up. Drop a thumbs up. Um, tell us in the comments if you've been up here. Tell us if you've explored all these yew trees. I mean, there's loads of them up here. Um, follow on up, up this path there's a path to our left over there which I'm going to try and cut back to but I think this actually leads out to the same place anyway so come on cows a bit more open again now um, I'm surprised there's not more bluebells in this bit but again bluebells will probably be further up actually and there's a bit more bit more um, light coming through because of uh, these yew trees do cover cover a lot of the sunlight so they leave it very very dull under the trees remind me well you can't remind me can you but I need to hold my keys because otherwise all the way through the footage you're gonna have my keys jingling and jingling another big old yew tree up there a couple of oak trees here yeah, going to come back out to the path now. Good girl, here you are. Let's get you some treats out. Um, sorry, 
Sorry, darling, I'm faffing on. I'm just trying to get a good handful of treats so I ain't got to go back in that pocket for a while. Yeah, don't force them out of my hand, greedy. And up. Good girl. We've got another up here. Yeah, cows. Up. Good girl. Well done. I don't know whether you saw that. You most definitely heard the big clunk and the mastiff jumping over. Uh, bushes this way. We're going to go this way, cows. Don't want you going through too many brambles. Yeah. Good girl. Let's say this is my seven and a half month old bull mastiff puppy. She's called Callie. But I call her my 50 cow bullet because she's an absolute beast. Um, Biggie was very soft, very light footed, very, very gentle. Callie's much more bull breed, much more not very spatially aware. There's a caged off area over there, that's new as well. I've not seen that before over there. You can see all cages over there. Not going to go that way, we're going to go this way for, for now and get back on the trail because we've got a heck of a hike to do and get up this hill. I say hill, it's more like a mountain. But, um, you'll see, that's all new, all fenced off over there. That wasn't like that before. So it looks like they're building a bit more up here. Um, you can hear people as well, you hear people talking in the background, so there's probably people coming up this path. This way. So guys, if you're a bird freak again, we've got another big yew tree here. Just on the side behind me. Cows! Throw your legs out. Thank you. Um, so we're just going off up the path now. You can see. Big old... Uh, fenced off bit, that might be um, protecting some trees or something up there. Nice little nature trail. Dog under my feet again. Oh, for goodness sake, how many times have I got to sort your legs out? Views all over the show. Loads more. So we've seen a few, we've seen a few ribbons, but not too many. Um, as I say, I will leave the information what I can find when I get home online. I'll leave it written on some of the video. A bit more information on the yew trees. Um, if you do come up here in the daytime, you will find uh, and the buildings open. There's a lot of stuff all written on the building because it used to be so old and ancient. Walk on. Kelly's going down the rabbit holes now. Again, we've got another fence put up here. So that never used to be there either. You used to be able to go off there. The Biggie used to just go off and explore. But what with dog thieves now, you've got to keep your dogs. I say keep your dogs in your sight. Biggie always stayed in, in sight. He would never go out my sight. He would just follow. But he would like to adventure a little bit, but never go out of sight. Um, Is that electric? Is that electric? Yeah, electric fence here. Don't go near that because that will shock you. So this is all new. Though. They've obviously tried to keep people out of... Um, that's got to be because of the trees and the disease. It's got to be because of the disease on the trees. Because that never used to be there. You used to be able to go off and all up into the valley. Fingers crossed I haven't fenced this off up here so I can get up the hill because I'll be gutted otherwise. Otherwise we're going to have to jump an electric fence and that could be some footage, couldn't it? That's shock on me nuts. Pheasant over there. But yeah, used to go off up here. Been off up here for a nice picnic a few years back. Um, if you come up here for your picnics, guys, always take your rubbish back with you. Bring lots of drinks because it's quite a walk. It's not a... It's not a small trek, it's a long old trek. And I don't know whether you can see in the distance behind us. And some really, really steep hills. We're going up to the top of those hills where all those trees are. But again, like I said about the disease on the ash, can you see all those dead trees in there? See all those dead branches? 
it's such a shame because of years ago that was all different greens big thick dark greens and light greens if you're on YouTube go and have a look and search Kingley Vale and you'll see if you search people's videos from a few years back you'll see just all the different colors up there and how lovely it was all the different colors but you can see now it's just skeletons of trees it looks like um, we're coming up to the end of April so everything should all be really nice and green by now so it just shows what that ash dieback disease has done it's eaten so many trees and cause they're all so close together it's just spread spread through the light such a shame I'm sure eventually they will grow back and they will start growing back in a few years yeah. you're going to notice it when we're up the hill as well on the difference oh I will because I remember what it used to look like but it's still a lovely walk out in the countryside come on stay away from that fence it will shock you mate you won't go near it again oh, it looks like the fence ends in a minute again you can go down this little path here and there's more yew trees I can see more yew trees off in there but we're not going to go down there we're going to get on with it and I'm going to get set up on the top of the hill um, I don't think the sun's gone down yet we've got a little while yet but, um, I'm going to need to change my batteries and the camera soon I'm going to go quiet now I'm going to stop babbling on stay away from that fence cow and I'm just going to film the scenery wildlife that pops out. Lovely big oak tree there. It's really cool. Yeah. Are you tired? We haven't even conquered the hill yet, love. It's got some awesome views coming, guys. You're going to get a 360 view right the way around when we get to the top of the hill. swapping arms, my arms aching. Did have a workout this morning. Have a workout every morning. Just try to keep fit. I get so skinny otherwise. Um, I know I'm still skinny anyway. But just trying to gain weight. That's the hardest thing when you're someone my size and you're as active as I am. You like to get out of the house a lot. It's so hard to gain weight. I just eat and eat and eat. I just can't put, put any weight on. And then some people, they, they literally have a Mars bar and that's all they can have and they balloon out. So, however you can see, you can go off through here into another little part of the valley up there. But again, as I say, we're going to stick to the path. We're going to go round. I think it ends in a minute up here anyway. And we have to conquer these big old hills. Which, uh, if I remember rightly, it's quite a quite a trek up these hills I might sit and have a have a little break on the bench just for five minutes and then we'll conquer the hill so still yew trees all in here behind these bushes it's all yew trees come on get move on and we're coming out to the valley now I'll put you that way and see how the valley all opens up and we're going up that hill up the top of that hill and at the top of that hill, if you come up here, if you've not been up here before and you're wondering where you go, when you get to the top of that hill, two big humps, which are called the Devil's Humps, which are the big burial mounds at the top of the hill, where they said to have buried kings, hence Kingly Vale. Good girl, nice and gentle. And um, we've got a sign over here. Shall I walk this way and film the sign just while we're here? Let's get the sign while we're here, guys. We've got loads of time. Um, I know it looks like the sun's going down here, but when we get to the top of the hill... Oh, wow. I've just seen a woodpecker. If you look in this big tree here, the big dead ash tree over there, there's a woodpecker in there, and it will fly out in a minute, probably. It's loads of colours on it. It's landed sort of halfway up the tree on the branches. I'm going to keep the camera on it, and if you keep your eyes on it, you will see it fly out but it is sat on that tree. I'm going to try and get over there to it, just so you can see. There's a bit of a pathway here. Keep your eyes on that tree. I can see it. Move. There it goes. Check that out. How cool is that, eh? 
Let's go this way a bit and see if we can get a bit of a closer shot. I'm going to stay quiet and stop the kiddies jingling. It's in that tree. It's climbing up that tree. I can see it. That's cool. What a shame these ash trees are dead. I'm surprised that one's got it because it's stuck out on its own as well. Can you see him in there? Oh, he's flown off again. Right, well, we're going to leave that one and we're going to go and read this board for now because of, um, I'm going to be walking all the way around Kingley Vale trying to get good footage of him. And I'm not going to get none because of, uh, I'm too noisy with my jingling keys. I'm going to stick them in my pocket, I think, in a minute. Sounds like Santa coming. Coming along, doesn't it, with all his jingly bells and bits. Yeah. It's just a um, board telling you about the pond. I'm going to sit you on a tripod quickly. Tell you about the animals in the pond. Um, don't worry guys, I will lift you up so you can see that sign. Just sorting myself out. Bit of a faffer. Don't want to get back to the car tonight in the dark and find out I've lost my keys. So. Stick them in my back pocket. Don't knock my tripod over, love. Okay, so this is just a bit of information on this sign to tell you about the animals and what live here at Kingly Vale in the pond. And I don't know whether you can see this, whether you can read this. Kingly Vale's Dew Pond. Um, I'm not going to go through it all. But you can see we've got some flowers, some yellow flag irises, dragonfly larva, the common toad. We've all seen that the toad before. Then you've got the grass snake. Um, when I was a gardener, I went to my nan's, she used to live out in the countryside and I was digging up the ground and I come across five little baby grass snakes in the ground and I dug them up and uh, pooed my pants mate when they all started coming out the ground. You've got the common newt, the great crested newt, I don't know if you've seen them, you turn them over on the belly, I do believe they're protected but they have a golden belly. You've got dragonflies and the water boatman which is like a a bug what goes on top of the pond. I'll walk around and I'll show you the pond. Let's, let's just um, get this camera. Get this camera like that. So we'll finish it out. Check this pond out. Callie, you're not drinking that. Okay, so this is just a bit of information on this sign to tell you about the animals and what live here at Kingly Vale in the pond. And I don't know whether you can see this, whether you can read this. Kingly Vale's Dew Pond. Um, I'm not going to go through it all, but you can see we've got some flowers, some yellow flag irises, dragonfly larva, the common toad, we've all seen that the toad before, then you've got the grass snake. Um, when I was a gardener, I went to my nan's, she used to live out in the countryside, and I was digging up the ground and I come across five little baby grass snakes in the ground and I dug them up. And uh, pooed my pants, mate, when they all started coming out the ground. You've got the common newt, the great crested newt. I don't know if you've seen them. You turn them over on the belly. I do believe they're protected, but they have a golden belly. You've got dragonflies and the water boatman, which is like a, a bug what goes on top of the pond. I'll walk around and I'll show you the pond. Let's, let's just um, get this camera. Get this camera like that. So we'll finish it out. Check this pond out. Kelly, you're not drinking out of that, mate. Come here. And this is the pond. Oh, look at all the tadpoles, guys. Can you see all those tadpoles? Loads of tadpoles in there. I don't know if you can see. If I zoom in a bit closer. Loads of tadpoles there. All swimming along. Look at all those tadpoles in there. Leave, Caddy. Don't want you drinking them. Can you see those tadpoles in the water? See them all swimming away? Hundreds and hundreds of them in here. Check that out, that's pretty cool, isn't it? So if you're coming up Kingly Vale, come stop by this pond and you'll see 
for all the tadpoles the next few weeks. They're going to start growing legs. They haven't got any legs on them yet. But there's loads of them in here. Hopefully you can see without too much reflection. I think we can see a few coming on there. That's pretty cool. And if I go round, you'll see the footprints as well. Again, over here as well, even round this side. The pond is full of tadpoles. Full of them. No, no, out you get. I'm not having you in that pond. Callie's a swimmer. She loves to go swimming. She does, and I don't want her in that because it's probably really, really dirty. But can you see, guys, all the tadpoles in here all swimming again? Loads of tadpoles. And over here, you've probably got lots of, lots of dog prints in the mud. But you've also probably going to have lots of hoof prints. Foxes, you can see. Can you see the footprints of the birds? You've got some sorts of birds here coming up here and walking in here. Lots and lots of footprints here. I've got water for you in the bag, Callie, what you can drink when we get to the top of the hill. Because trust me, you're going to want it at the top of the hill. You can see more footprints of birds, foxes. Um, there's probably a fair old few deers. I know on our way back, I'll be shocked if you don't see a few deers on our way back. But we're now going to start scaling the hill. I'm going to flip you back round, guys. And you're going to look at me now. Again, back on me. Put my trousers up before we conquer this bad boy. There we go. Get sorted out. Right, you ready to scale the hill, cows? As ready as we'll ever be, yeah? So, I don't know if you can see behind us. we got a big old hill. We're going up that. We're going up that path there. Lots of people come down here on their bikes. They like to ride around on their bikes. Um, it's a lot better trails. Look at this. That's just the, the standard earthworm on the floor. We're going to leave him out for the birds. You leave him alone. Leave him alone, cows. You're not eating worms, mate. Um, later on in the video, but let's go have a look under these logs. You never know, we might find some grass snakes or some um, slow worms. Uh, we've got obviously some sort of carcass of a bird here again, so probably foxes. Foxes up here. Looks like a seagull carcass. But, um, you might find some sort of snakes or something here under these logs so I'm gonna flip you round again bear with me guys and I'm gonna lift these logs and see what we find see if we can find anything under them if there's a slow one there I'll happily pick it up if it's a grass snake I ain't picking it up mate because I don't want to get bit again you've got to be very careful when lifting logs so you've got some tracks leave you've got some tracks here from where uh, grass snake or some sort of snake will go down and through. Leave cows. I can't see anything under here at the moment. No, there's nothing here today guys, I'm afraid. I'm gonna lay the logs back down again. Just because of, um, it could be someone's, some animal's home under there. That's pretty cool, isn't it? You've got lots more logs here. As I say, you can see a little hole there, so there's probably something under those logs. I'm not moving all the logs, so I'll just move a few and we'll try our luck. Glass under there, so steer clear of that. Nothing under that one. Nothing under that one. Always, if you move the logs, be respectful and put them back. Don't leave them um, turned over. We've got lots of rubbish around here as well. It looks like people obviously come here. You've got orange pills and stuff. So you're probably not going to see much here. It's probably not out of the way. Let's give up on them. And let's get a move on. Let's get up this hill. Uh, it looks like the sun is starting to drop down behind that hill. I can't believe all those dead trees. Look at all those dead trees, guys, eh? What a shame, eh? Hey, 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 hey. A bit of chalk here. 
the ground is very chalky up here but you'll see that as we start scaling the hill a lot of it is mostly chalk um, and again there's a lot of farmland around here but when we get up to the top of the hill you'll have a 360 view right the way round I mean at the moment if I flip you back onto me I don't know whether you can see behind me we are going to get a dead battery in a minute so I'll swap the batteries over um, in fact I'm going to stop here in this flat plane of grass I'm going to put the battery in here so it doesn't cut me out talking you got more logs over there in that bit right, I'll just change the battery guys all right guys what's up I'm back I just had to change my battery so um, I see some logs over here but we'll go have a look over here in these logs and then we're going to scale this hill um, again we've got another dead carcass here from more more birds what have been caught so there's obviously foxes around so always um, be aware of your surroundings lots of logs over here so um, you might be in for more chance seeing something over here stand back let's see there's a slow worm and we've got a slow worm guys can you see a little slow worm here? Here's a slow worm for you. Now whether you can see, here's a little slow worm. Check him out. Can you see him? I told you you'd have some slow worms coming to the channel. He's very calm. And again, as I say guys, slow worms can't hurt you. They don't bite. They're just slow worms. Um, they're not too slow. Can you see guys? We've got a foxhole there, and that is a live foxhole down there. And I know that's a live foxhole because there's a dead bird carcass. Now I don't want them coming out and having a go at Cali. Sit. But there's your slow worm. As you can see, they're not quick, they're very slow. Um a little bit of something for the channel. He is alive, don't worry, he's not dead. See, see his little tongue come out. He's checking you guys out. So hello, Mr. Slowworm. Drop in the comments, what shall we name him? What do you think we should call him? And I'll show you that foxhole. Cali, leave. He's pretty cool, isn't he? Hey, see his eyes. You see his tongue come out again in a minute if I hold my hand there. Oh, he's having a look. He's looking at that camera lens. Cali, leave. Okay, so there's a slow one for you guys. My screen keeps going off. Well, I'm glad we come and we um, check that out. I'm going to put him back. As I say, we'll put him back and you'll see him. Oh, oh, no, he's, he's going around my fingers now. So he's obviously quite happy on my hand. Can you see him? And let's drop him down. Let's put him down here and let him go. Leave, Callie. This isn't for you. I'll put him down there. There he goes, and he's going to go off. So there we go. We'll put the log back on top of him. Is him going off? Look, he's going off in the ground. Off he goes. Off he wriggles off under the grass. There we go, and he's gone. So, can put the log back for him. Cows, here. There's probably lots of slow worms under these logs. I don't know if you can see here, here's that live foxhole. There's the foxhole. And I know that's live because we've got a carcass of a bird here. And foxes like to eat carcasses. Um, and as I say, if you like foxes, if you like fox cubs, you like your nature, you like your wildlife, Obviously so far we've found tadpoles in this video and we found a slow worm. But here is the leftovers of a pigeon. And that is a fox mate. And there was another one just over there, wasn't there, by those other logs. So there's clearly a lots of foxes up here and around. I can see two pheasants up there coming down the hill. Come on, sort yourself out. We're now about to scale this hill. I'm just going to flip you back round again guys. 
if you couldn't tell already, I am a bit of a nature freak. Um, it's not just dog walks and nature, as I say on every video. I know it's been a lot of dog walking and lots of nature walks and things like that at the moment, but I mean, I am actually a big time adrenaline junkie. I like my bikes, I like my skates, I like skydiving, swimming, all sorts of stuff, you name it. Um, that's a bit of me, I'm an outdoorsy guy. Uh, so that's what Lads Manor is all based on. It's just based around everything what I like, like the ultimate sort of lad sort of stuff. From cars to guns to, you name it, days out shooting, peace and quiet out in the middle of nowhere with all the trees and the birds. Most importantly, bull mastiffs and dogs. I love my bull mastiffs, I love my dogs. Best thing in the world, dogs. Um, so drop a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button because there's no way there ain't something what you like on this channel. This channel's got a bit of something for everyone. Um, but as I say, there's a lot of adventures coming, uh, lots of more adrenaline things. I am thinking of getting myself strapped up to one of those water jet packs, that should be good fun. We've got segways, we've got all sorts of stuff coming guys. Uh, so hit that subscribe button, help me hit 1000 subs. Um, sorry, I'm getting, getting uh, out of breath, we're starting to scale this hill now. And you'll notice as we're getting up the hill, you get further and further. I'm going to flip you around so you can see where I'm actually walking, I think. And then when we get halfway up, I'll flip you back round again. Probably be quite a few deers you're going to see in a bit. Um, just because of... Uh, it's that time of night when the sun sets. The deers love to come out. And again, foxes, you've got a pheasant flying over us. Can you see that there? Not sure whether the camera picked that up. I couldn't see it on the camera when I was looking. This is this hill. So we get up the tra up the trail and it gets steep. The dog's dog's cracking on. Look at this. Right around all that scenery. Looks like we're gonna time it about right to be honest with you. Once you get up the top, set up. Go on up you go. And look at this view so far. Right the way round. Look at that, hey. King of the hill. It will be when we get to the top. There's a pheasant over there. Walking along. Callie's found a path. You ready to scale up? Jeez. Yeah, these steps never used to be here. So we got Dakub. I think that's supposed to be Jacob. Jacob, if you're watching this, your name's going on my YouTube, mate. Lizard King. So obviously some, maybe Jacob has found some lizards up here. Waldeeks. Waldeeks 32. Sutton Lawson. If you know these people, share the video. Linus. Oh, we've got penis. I'm sure we all know a penis. Alex, Tim, Samuel, Joe, William, Sylve, Amina. So I'll read all the names out, I think I will. Dominic. Madison, Ben, Kai, Christian, Lloyd, Jack, Zoe, Annie, Tilly, Liam, Andre, Dominic, Zach, Lee, Grace, Elliot, Summer, that's a nice name. Becky, George, 
Scott, Rosie, Misfits, he says, Calamine. Calamine's a funny name, isn't it? Bertie, Haley, Jeff. If I'm reading out any of your names, guys, Zach, drop a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Let us know when you read them on. You should have read a date when you read these, so people can see what date you were here doing it. Nearly there, that one says. Max, Karina, look at this review. If I've said your names, because it's written on the steps, drop a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and just see, wait till you see what we've got to come in the next adventures. There's some awesome stuff coming. If you know who it was what written, share the video on social media, tag them in it, let them know that they've just hit the YouTube channel at Lads Manor. Um, I'm gonna flip you back around guys so you can see me. Legs back, so as I say, hit that subscribe button. I'm doing some giveaways soon on the channel um, for all the subscribers. And we're gonna pick some. And we're doing some awesome giveaways of some experience days. Whether that's a day session of driving a supercar, going around the track, could even be some group giveaways of some go-kart days. Quad bikes, off-road buggies. We do it all, it's all on our website, www.ladsmanor.com. Check out that view behind me, eh? What an awesome view, I'm absolutely done in after that. There's me thinking I'm fit as a fiddle. Even a dog's puff, didn't you cows, eh? She's my little lean machine. I don't know whether you've got bull mastiffs, but she's actually lean as hell for bull mastiff. They're normally really quite big, bulky pieces of kit, but she gets out a lot. She's not my big, big was fit as a fiddle as well. I like my nice, lean, fit dogs, so they can keep up. Don't want a fat couch potato, do we, cows? No, we don't. Right, let's get back on with it. I can see a big old stone up here with a plaque on. So let's go read this plaque. And then we're going to go and get to the burial mounds or the devil's humps. Sun's up still, we've got loads of time. Sun's not down yet. Come on, Cal, sweep your leg out. Look, you just threaded the other leg in, haven't you? There we go. Look at that view behind me, guys. I'm going to hold you up. Look at all those farmer's fields. You can see the beach, you can see the sea. You can see a little bit of the Isle of Wight over there. Just a little tip. What a view. What a view. I used to come up here with Big. And we used to just sit up here. Watch the sun go down. Um, got a big old rock coming up here. Something written on it. Let's see. Let's flip you around again. Check this out. More yew trees all up here. In the midst of this nature reserve, which he brought into being, this stone calls to memory. Sir Arthur George Tansley. This is the guy. This is the guy what made all this a nature reserve. Oh, this isn't. This is a plaque in his memorial, but who during a long lifetime strove with success to widen the knowledge to deepen the love and to safeguard the heritage of nature in the British Isles from November 1957. And that's why, if you read your names on those logs, you should have put a date so we know what date you've done it. Rededicated by the British Ecological Society, English Nature and New Photographer Trust. That's cool. If you do come up here, guys, don't write your name on the stone. That's very disrespectful. Write it on some wood, what they put in, or something like that, you know? 
It's very disrespectful to do that. This is a memorial in the guy's name because he's the guy what looked after the nature. He's the guy what made this all happen. Yeah, you notice they're building houses all over the place, but they can't build houses up here, and that's why. Yeah, so um, if any of you are watching and you want to come up, you want to leave your name, you put your name on something, but not on that stone, not on the memorial. It's very, very disrespectful. Let's get on and let's get to the devil's humps or the burial mounds. More yew trees, look all over the show. Yew trees, got my little baby dog. As I say, I was saying, I used to come up here with Biggie um, quite a lot, got the sun. Um, we used to sit on the humps. I used to have a smoke then, I used to smoke back then. We'd sit on the humps, chill out, have a nice smoke, the two of us. I say two of us, he wouldn't smoke, but I would. And then uh, we'd um, sit here and once the sun had gone down, I don't know if you can see the cathedral over there, just a cathedral sticking out. Probably a bit far in the distance, to be honest. Um, you might have seen Big, you might have seen my dog Big, he was very much of a legend. For those of you who don't know me, I'll leave a clip in the intro and I'll leave a clip at the end. Um, I'll put a clip at the end showing what's to come on the channel. But um, he used to sit in my van, he'd wear sunglasses, he'd cruise around, he'd cruise around all over the show. Hundreds of people would stop, they'd get their phones out, they'd take photos of him, he was such a big gentle giant. He was absolutely awesome. If you didn't meet him, I'll share a clip, as I say, at the end of the video. And um, I guarantee he'll put a smile on your face. He was an absolute awesome dog. But hit that subscribe button. Hit those like buttons. And um, in the future, I'm going to get another van. And I'll train Callie to do, do very similar to what I trained Biggie to do. But, uh, at the moment, I don't have a van. I have a car. So I'm not having her sit in the window of my car. It's not, it's not the same. So. Callie's more a tactical beast, to be honest. Can you see any deers in there? I can't see any at the moment. It looks like we've got some guys on a bike up here. Oh, you got yourself closed in the gate. I'm gonna flip you back round, because if they're kids and stuff, we don't want them um, in the videos, guys. But I'll get it from the distance. You can see there's two humps here. Two big old humps. Now these are burial mounds, they're called the Devil's Humps. And as you sit up on top you'll be able to see, you can see you've got a 360 view right the way round from the top of the hill, right the way round. Uh, slowly get up there and we'll get on the top. There's people on one mound. If they're talkative and they're not shy I might ask them to give us a trick. Pop a wheelie or something. See if I throw it up for the YouTube. But um, They might not want to, they might be children so they might not want to want to do anything, they might not have any skill, but we'll see. But if they're chatty, if they're talkative, they might be up for it. Come on cows, get moving. We walk around this side, you go around this side and you'll see this side. You get a real good 360 view right the way round. I know what you're thinking, no, I'm not walking around him seven times. Nice try. It's not going to happen. Check that out for a view. It's a shame it's cloudy. Because of um, without the clouds, that would be quite an awesome sunset, guys. But cool, he's got a nice bike. I'll obviously, send it. Tell you what, it's a lovely day for going out on your bikes, isn't it? it yeah, jeez. Come on, trail dog, get move on. So this is the second hump, guys, as you can see, or the burial mound. Let's come up the top. Good girl, pull me up, pull me up. Good girl, well done. Get up. Yeah. Check this out, big old, big old hill. You've got these guys coming down on their bikes now. Sit. It's a nice bike, isn't it? There you go, she popped a little stunt for you. You've got another one coming. Oh, 
What a lovely day for it, guys, eh? Matey boy on his bike over there. With his dog. And his trail dog. What a life. Lovely place for it. Drop a thumbs up. We've got loads of stuff. We've got loads of bikes. If you want to buy a bike, check out the website. We've got loads of full size bikes. Sit down. You can't go and chase after them too. You can see Callie likes going down the trails too. Running along with the bikes. What a nice little doggy, eh? As I say, guys, if you need a bike, if you like your riding, you like getting out, you like sending it, you like your sports gear, it's all on the website, www.ladsmanor.com. I'll leave a link. I'll leave the website right here, above my hand. Pop up there, you know, right underneath there. www.ladsmanor.com. Go check it out. We've got full sus, we've got e-bikes, we've got hardtails, we've got um, body protection, helmets, you've got loads more bikers coming up here as well. Sit. Good girl, wait. I can hear another one, matey boy's coming back. There's bikes all over the place up here, isn't there? Hey? What a nice night for it, I can see the cows down there, that's East Marden down there. And um, Stoughton Down. There's some awesome trails down at Stoughton Down. That's just over in those trees over there. All those trees. That's pretty cool, isn't it, guys? So um, I'm going to set you up here. Hopefully, Callie won't knock you off. So I'll put you down. I'm going to get cows a drink. Wait. Sit down. I'm stick you up at me. You come over here. Cows, come this way. Good girl. Sit. Sit. Good girl, well done. Let's get you a drink, yeah? Because you've done really well getting up that hill. Right. I'm going to take you up onto the next hump. Show you what it's like on this one. You've got a bit better view from this one, guys. And then um, we're going to make a move, I think, because you're not going to get much of a sunset because it's all cloudy. This way, walk on. Yeah, you've got a bit better view from here, 360 all the way around. Here, cows. Sis. Good girl. Yeah. Is that hill? Good girl. Yeah. Is that hill? Good girl. Yeah, check out this view from this one. You've got a bit better view over here. There's lots of bushes on that one. I'll give you a 360 round, guys. And then I'm out. Then we're off. You're not going to get much of a sunset tonight. Hello, mate. All right. Lovely day for a bike ride, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's so dry. It's perfect. Yeah, yeah. It's rangy. Oh, yes. So, guys, this is the, the second hump, as you can see. Oh, the second burial mound. And as you look over here, you've got Stout and Down over there. That's where you send it on your bikes. You see the field where the cows are. You go one field over into those trees. And again, right round. Such a shame you're not going to get a very nice sunset because it's so cloudy. But we'll come back another day. As I say, hit that button, smash that subscribe button, smash that like button. We're going to make a move. It's about that time of night, you're going to catch loads of deers. Come on, cows, walk on. Good girl. As I say, if you. Um, Need any bike stuff you want to check out some e-bikes we've got some full sus bikes hardtail bikes they're all on the website links right there www.ladsmanor.com if you've got any mates right into their bikes share the video share the channel we've got lots of mtb coming to the channel come on cow sort yourself out just tonight we're on a little explore we're on a little mission um lots of tadpoles we've seen uh, slow worms, I'll cut you some slow worms for you. Sort your legs out, come on. Oh. And uh, oh, look, it's a snake, it's a snake. No, it's not, it's, it's a stick. No. We're gonna go this way now, so we're gonna give you the all rounder. Probably will see ditters tonight. It's getting a bit chilly. I might have to put my hoodie on. I think I am gonna throw my hoodie on. Sit, sit. So, as you can see. We're now off the main open trail. 
and we're going down a more private little quiet nature trail but you can see the dead dead wood here just the sheer amounts of it and the devastation i mean look but that's what i was saying it is maintained up here it is maintained they do keep it fairly maintained so falling dead branches and that they're normally trimmed down and all been cut down for safety reasons because they don't want people getting injured up here out in the middle of nowhere i mean i highly doubt you're going to get an ambulance up here um and you need some bloody fit ambulance drivers to be carrying a stretcher all the way up here need marines mate for that i think um If I lived a bit closer to Kingley Vale, I would be coming up in most mornings for a run. Because I do love my fitness. That's my battery. I've still got a good bit of battery on it. You're all right, guys. Um, again, I know we've seen two dog walkers with their dogs off the lead. But the sign does say, do not have your dog off the lead up here. Um, just because of the wildlife. Now, the dogs, what I've seen off the lead, have been really, really good. And all they're focused on. Are their owners so i don't see a problem with that however if your dog is not going to be focused i.e like a very well trained gun dog then don't let it off the lead okay because if for instance callie is awesome callie sit callie's very well trained she'll take up center she'll guard she's like a tactical beast i call her my in my 50 cal because if she'll take up center and she will guard at night if someone approaches me at night she'll be in between my legs growling and it's like a thunder growl. She's an absolute beast. And she's only seven and a half months old. However, she likes to make sure I'm safe at all times. So if a deer was to come running down the path, she'd go and have it because she think it's going to come for me. And she's got no fear. Like even big deers, antlers, she's done it already. Like just She just sees them off. Um, which again, they're known as the night watchman. It's in their breed. They're a big guard dog. Um, if you've got a little gun dog, if you've got something like that, it's probably not going to be quite so protective. Yeah, but um, more to the point, if you're coming up here, keep your dog on a lead unless it's really well trained and it ain't going to go anywhere apart from follow you. So just look, look at all these yew trees, look, there's hundreds of them, hundreds and hundreds of them. Yew, 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 yew tree, yew tree. There's so many, lovely. And this isn't a yew tree, this is actually a holly tree here. Let's see, we've got a bit of holly here. But yes, yew trees are evergreen trees, so they are green all year round. Unless they die, which it's quite nice they haven't died, because of, if they was to die, Christ, everything here would be like a barren wasteland. Just because of um, all the ash is gone, you'd only be left with a couple of oak trees and a few others, you know. But yeah, I think I've picked the right choice coming over to this this piece of track. Um, not that I've got any problem with bike riders. As you can see, they're very, very respectful. They're very nice people. They don't leave their rubbish around. They're a lot better than most people, actually. Um, however... I'd like to try and find me nature. I'd like to try and see wildlife. So let's let's go on a wildlife explore and see what we can see. And too many people whizzing down. I ain't gonna bring the deers. Yeah, I'd like to see at least one deer. But I, I don't think it's looking too promising, guys, at the moment. Well, come. However, we we found some. We found a slow worm. Got some footage of the slow worm. You can see him when we get home. I wasn't going to hold him for too long because he's not very comfortable, it's not very nice being picked up at your home. Um, I picked him up to show you and I've put him straight back. Uh, if it was a grass snake I wouldn't pick it up. Uh, I'm not like some of these men. Oh, I've done my ankle again. Jesus. That's another thing, you've got to watch the floor up here because I'm walking, I'm looking at the camera, I'm holding the dog. I've got a hundred things going on, I'm not looking at where I'm putting my feet. You should always look where you're placing your feet, what you're walking on. And again, all these dead logs, it's actually good for the snakes, it's good for the bugs, it's good for the insects. Give it a couple of years, and fingers crossed, some of these ash trees will probably re-spurt new, new shoots and new, new growth. 
and they'll probably really come up. You can see a trail here. You see a trail coming down here. Now that's probably an animal trail. And you can see it then goes off down to here. Yeah, so it comes straight through. So things like that. You look at things like that because that will tell you where you want to be looking for wildlife. We've got nature trail 22 this way, that sign says. Um, I'll take a bit longer if I walk a bit slower. Probably higher chance of seeing some deers. However, if you don't see deers, I will take you out over near mine because over near mine, we've got loads of deers over mine. Um, I've got my tactical torch turning up off the website in the next week. Sorry guys, I've got to sort my trousers out again. There we go, look, so can you see, we've got new shoots already growing out of these trees what have been cut off, and that's what I'm saying, nature, it regrows. So it's a good thing, it allows all the bugs and insects to thrive up here, all the snakes to thrive up here. And then in a few years time, you're gonna have new growth of the trees. By the time my little girl's my age, this is gonna be banging up here again, so. It is such a shame about the ash die back, but that's life, isn't it? Things things um, live and they die and then they regrow and they come back in other ways. I mean, look at this all budding up again. Lovely. So, hawthorn there, lovely bit of hawthorn. Lovely bit of hawthorn, savage hawthorn is. Don't grab hold of hawthorn, it'll go right in your hands, leave you with splinters. I used to be a gardener, but now, as I say, I um, run Lad's Manor, and uh, I want to get this YouTube exploded, so drop a like, drop a thumbs up, share with your mates, and get me to a thousand subs, guys. Um, the sooner I hit that, subscri that subscription, the more cooler stuff what's coming to the channel, and I've got some awesome stuff coming to the channel. Come on, Cal. Um, yeah, so I live for dogs. That's why we've got, obviously, lots of dog walks on the channel at the moment. Because I'm just warming up, getting out of lockdown. Um, there's a deer. There's a deer in there. Can you see in those trees? Just running off there. She's going to come out over here. Let's go back this way. I told you to see deers. I don't know whether you picked her up, guys, but she ran just into here. Where's she gone? She's there. You see a little white bum in the trees. She's just running around the trees over there. There you go, hop spring and she's off. So I don't know whether you picked that up on the camera because it's quite dark in there. Fingers crossed we got back and you did. That was a female deer. Um, and I believe female deers are called does. I believe that was actually a doe. Um, keep your eyes peeled. There'll probably be lots more. It's that time of night. They come out at this time of night. So I'm surprised. Actually, we saw that one. Stay quiet now. Battery's getting low. Might see some more in here. Callie's on it like a rocket. Callie picks up scent. Um, and as I say, uh, you've got five little fox cubs the size of my hand on the other video, on our last video. If you go check that out, um, the description says five baby fox cubs. It's at the end of the video. Don't skip straight to the end. Uh, we've also got some black swans. I've never seen swans what are black, but that's Bembo Pond we explored. Me and my daughter, my little girl. Um, what was I saying before? I'm going to flip you guys around so you're not looking at me. I'm still going to talk to you, but you can see. That way, if any deers do come out, you're not going to miss them. You've got another trail here down into the bluebells. But these are looking more like animal trails, actually. They come through here. They look more like animal trails to me. But let's go through the, through the trees. Keep your eyes open for any dodgy old ash. Any animals?
So if you guys are on Facebook and you want to see what sort of adventures we do, go to uh, Search Lads Manor on Facebook, join the page. I'll invite you to the group as well because we have a group as well on there. And that's a lot more of like adverts and experiences and stuff what we we do at the website. Um, people what go on the experiences, they film their experiences and they send them in to us, some of them. And we document them and put them, look at this, this is an animal trail here, this is a track. You can see how it's squashed down with the bluebells. And you've got another animal track over there. We're going to make our own little, oh jeez, got to be careful where you're walking past. There's lots and lots of fallen things. Deers. Two deers. Did you see them? They're heading off through there. Did you see those guys? And that's what happens when you go off trail at this time of night. You start seeing lots more animals. Shall we go down more? Let's go down through more. I actually heard their footsteps before I saw them. Fingers crossed we'll see a lot more. Watch your little legs, darling. So, we're here now, back where we started, you see? And that's that. Let's make our way back up to the car then, shall we? There we go. So guys, that is our little adventure, our little explore to Kingly Vale. We're pretty much done. I'm gonna wrap it up. Um, I'm Leg, this is Cow Bear, the little 50 cow. And uh, hope you enjoyed that. What did we see? We saw slow worms, we saw tadpoles, and I think we saw a couple of deers, whether or not I got them on footage. That's a, that's a different story. I don't think there's any here. But thanks for watching, guys, anyway. Um, if you've subscribed already, you're absolute legends. If you like the video, bang a thumbs up. If I've droned on a bit too much, I tend to do that. That is what I'm like. But um, Loads of content, though. Loads of nature, loads of wildlife. Loads of different types of animals, including a little bull mastiff puppy. Um, I'm sure there's something there what some of you nature guys will enjoy. And uh, I'm going to go out and get some footage of some more deers over by me. We've got some kayaking coming, we've got skydiving coming, we've got um, jetpacks. Got some supercars coming, um, some car shows coming to the channel as well. So uh, hit that subscribe button, don't miss it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Leg, this is Lads Manor. Thanks for watching. Peace up. Over and out. But it's too late now, I remember. Up, it felt so right. We were so young, we were so dumb. We would get drunk and then hook up. We were okay, we were alright. Staying awake till the sunrise. We were in love, couldn't stop us. Like a good drug, yeah. never run. We hook up in my car, drive it so far. Play your guitar, you'd show me your wrong. Let down our guards, think with our hearts. Stare at the stars, we were never apart. Drinking too young, way too much fun. Out in the sun, no pain when it's gone. Took you to prom, dance to our song. Dance all night long till the lights come on.
remember everything And how careless we could be And how careless we could be